<clears throat> okay, everybody. Hello. What's that noise? Weird. Okay. So, oh, it's a, one of those things. Crap. Did I, oh, I didn't bring my lava bucket. Um, anyway, I found a stronghold. Yay! So, I don't... It can't really do any damage. Oh, look. Oh, an apple. Cool. Some bread. Oh, jeez, I came right down on top of the thing. Oh, and it's a the spawner, that's why. It's, oh, crap. Uh, I don't... Get out of my way. Oh, crap. Crap, Ola. Get out of here, kids. Okay, alright. Come here. Um, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so let me try to get rid of it. Ah, got it. Good. So now I just gotta get rid of these things. So let me try that again. Yes, chase me, chase me. Yes. Yeah, keep going. There we go. Wow, so I came down like right on top of the future portal. It's already got two eyes of ender in it, so I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need ten eyes of ender. I have no eyes of ender. Wow, I can't believe that I actually came down like right on top of it. That's pretty cr remarkable, I guess. And how do I get out of here? So, th wow, that's cool. I came down right on top of this thing. Can you? Oh, I don't want to fuck with that. Um, <laughs> don't want to break it, because then I won't be able to get to the end. But here it is. The end portal. And I'm, I am going to fill these up. There we go. And I guess, I don't know, can you fill this in? Can you fill in this lava? I guess I can always put it back. But it always, lava makes me nervous. So. This is fairly awesome. I can't believe I found this thing. So, not, I mean, it wasn't easy, but. It really wasn't easy because, um, and I, I have to admit, I kind of cheated, uh, but I had to cheat uh, because I was getting false signals uh, from, how do I get back out of here? I can't remember how I got in here. <laughs> came in through the ceiling somewhere and it was really close I mean, it wasn't that far away oh I can't believe I found it so oh. where did I come in oh here it is is this it this is it so I was getting false signals from my Eye of Ender. I, I got a bunch of Eye of Ender and started. Um, so it's here. And I started looking for the. Um, in case you don't know, you, you take an Eye of Ender and you throw it, and it goes off in a certain direction. Well, I got a bunch of Eye, en eye of Ender and started throwing them and they started going off in this one direction and then they would uh, after I would get you know a certain amount of distance it would start going back another direction and then it would 
uh, I would go back that direction. It kept turning around on me, and so I thought, well, it must be around here somewhere, but there was no stronghold there. So I couldn't figure out what was going on. And I, I did a little bit of online reading. I can hear an Enderman right now. Oh, it's daylight. Uh, crapola. I don't know where he went. So now I gotta figure out. I'll just leave that up. Now I gotta figure out how to get back. So I think this is the way, the way back. So yeah, right here. And I have been here before too. There was a torch right there. I did not place that tour. I've been here for some reason. I was I was in this area, and I'm just gonna place torches all over the place here, so that perhaps I can figure out in the future. where this place is. I, I kind of know where it's at, but it might be a little difficult to get back, but let me, uh, am I going in the right direction? Yeah, I'm going in the right direction. So maybe I'll leave a little trail here. Won't be a very long trail. Anyway, so I, was, I got to reading online and uh, noticed that some other people were having trouble with this. So I went into creative mode and created a world with the same seed and flew up in the air and threw some uh, eyes of ender. And I noticed that um, it, was, it was sending me in a different direction, even in places where it was sending me in the opposite, like it would send me in the opposite direction. And then in this world, when I'm on the ground, but up in the air, if I went up, even on that world, it would send me like to the to the east, I guess. It was sending me east, and this is kind of uh, northwest from where I was at, where my home base is. So, um, anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, the Eye of Ender not working. So the Eye of Ender. Um, when I when I would stand at my house, it would it would go almost due east when I throw it. But wow, oh, did I just hear some kind of weird noise back here? Guess not. Uh, but if I went up in the air, it went in this direction, like northwest. So, uh. <coughs> Or really kind of west-northwest. Anyway. It, it just wasn't working right. And so I, I figured that out. So I was like, well, I'm going to head off west-northwest and get a, you know go out a good distance and then start throwing some. And I did that and I threw a couple around and finally figured out that this, you know, uh, where it was at, roughly where it was at. So... And uh, and I just got really I kind of got lucky too because I was um, uh, I was just out there playing around and uh, it went down in this valley kind of in that cave. Well, you saw that where it was that little valley there. It went down in there and. Then I started throwing it kind of in a different direction and started going in. I don't know. Anyway, so I think that the um, Eye of Ender is a little glitchy, not ready for prime time kind of thing. But uh, this is prime time. This is the 1.0 version. Hey, I got a chicken. I got a baby chicken. I've, I'm, I'm getting some, this is my mob spawn trap thing, but it doesn't work very well. Let's see what I got here. Yeah, you get a little, I was uh, kind of disappointed in that, but I did find a skeleton spawner off almost due west. You can actually see some torches I laid down. I've got a path going to it, a path of torches, 
And, uh, so, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, my skeleton spawner. So I found a skeleton spawner so that I can make a bunch of arrows. So, uh, I'll be doing that, uh, making a mob grinder out of that. And, uh, I was actually coming back to my place, uh... from the mob grinder and I killed like five or six uh, endermen and got their pearls and decided that hey I've got enough pearls now that I can actually do something with it. That's kind of what started all that. Wow, something just fell over in my apartment. I don't know what it was. Oh, you know, I bet it was my door. I have to go check that out. There's a one of my closet doors keeps falling over. It's like the, the they're kind of like shutter doors. They're not really uh, door doors. So uh, they kind of fall over every once in a while. And uh, so I'll have to check that out and see. But <clears throat> anyway, I uh, just wanted to show you that I found the stronghold. I'm so excited. Uh, I didn't think that I would find it, <laughs> to be honest with you. I mean, I knew I would find it eventually, but... I thought it was going to take me forever to find it because I was, I was, like literally, uh, you saw I came from this direction and like if you would stand here and throw an eye of ender, it just kept going that way. So uh, after you get past a certain point out there, I guess if you get high enough up on a rim, a ridge, over there, there's a couple of mountains. I would get up on those mountains and I would throw it and it would go back the other way and then I would go back that way and then it would go back this way, and I never could like normally that means you're getting close, but I never could pinpoint it. And um, I guess I was just getting false signals because if you if you were in creative mode and you jumped up and started flying and started throwing eye of ender, it actually sends you back this way. So in 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 that wow. Let's see if I can get me one here. Oh, he teleported away. Where'd he go? Did he go anywhere? I think that these Endermen must. Um, I know during the daylight they just they usually teleport away and never come back. Um, but even at night, if you have underground caverns and things like that, they teleport into those caverns and then they don't teleport again because they can't see you anymore. So that's kind of a bummer, I guess. But anyway, um, yeah, that thing right there doesn't work very well. But I was thinking about adding on to it, but. I know it's lopsided too. I miscalculated when I was building it, and so it's a little bit lopsided. So I'm, I'm probably gonna have to go back up there and and kind of redo it. But I mean, it it does give some stuff, but it's that's just like a one point. I think after one point beta one point eight, it just never uh, the mob spawner trap things never made as much uh, material as they did. Because I used to have one in my old world that was just ridiculous. I mean, I mean, I could, if I left my guys standing there, I could get like, you know, a full inventory of bows or a full inventory of arrows, and you know, I made tons of TNT. I got so much TNT, so much gunpowder, but this one uh, doesn't drop very much. So, um, part of that's probably due to the design too. I mean, it's not designed very well, but. Um, Anyway, I'm, I'm going to work on it. I'll try to fix it. Make it better. You know, work on it a little bit. Get it to working right. But I, I just wanted to share my big discovery. I was very excited. And uh, so that's it for now. And I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.